In this video, we're going to run through the different text alignment options in Excel, such as left, right, and center align. And I'll also show you how to use shortcut keys to get the job done faster. And if you'd like to grab a copy of the Excel file I use in this video, just click on the link in the description below. So I've got a little exercise set up here where I've got some different alignments that I'm going to show you listed down in column D. And then I've just got the word hello written down a bunch of times. And that's the text that we're going to align. Okay, now when you type text into a cell in Excel, it usually comes up left aligned first, which is why you can see all of that text down in column E is left aligned. But let's see how you can change it. So if I click on cell E2, what you can do is go up to the alignment section on the home tab of the ribbon and you can see that we've got these buttons here. So there's a line left, center, and a line right. And if you click on those, you can change the alignment. So for this one, I'll click on a line right. And you can see down there that hello has moved from the left side to the right side of that cell. Now with left align, as I said, the text is left aligned anyway when you type it in. But if you did want to left align this one, you could come up, click on the left align button, and it would align to the left side of the cell. And we'll just look at center aligning as well. So we'll click on cell E4, come up to our buttons, click on center, come back down. And as you can see, the word hello is now center aligned in E4. All right, you can also align text to the bottom, middle and top of cells. And when you first type text into cells, it's usually bottom aligned uh, by default. So that's this one here. So let's start off with the middle align. We'll just click on cell E7 and we'll come back up to the ribbon. And this time we're looking at these buttons. So we've got top align, middle align, and bottom align. And as you can see, that's set to bottom at the moment. So we'll click on middle. And down there, you can see that hello has now moved up to the middle of cell E7. And then we've got top align. So we'll click on the button up here. And that word hello has now moved up to the top of cell E8. And for bottom, if we clicked on that button up here, it's already clicked anyway that would bottom align the word hello there. All right, so I'll just show you indenting as well. So if we come down to cell E10, and we'll come up to these two buttons here. So there's decrease indent and increase indent. So I'll click on increase twice, and then we'll come back down here. And you can see that hello has moved across to the right but not all the way over. So it's just put in two indents on the left. So if I come up here and then I click on decrease indent once, you can see that that's moved over to the left a bit. And if I do it again, that's moved all the way over to the left now. So that got rid of the two indents that I put in there. Okay, so that's how you can move your text across to the right without actually right aligning it. And I just wanted to show you a couple of other things as well. So if we just click on hello here in E12 and then come up to this button, which actually has a drop down. So I'll click on that. You can see that there's some other options as well. So you can angle the text or you can make it vertical or rotate it up or down. So I'll just click on one of the angle ones. Okay, so you can see the result there. And the other angle and then we'll click on vertical text. So there's hello written out vertically. And then we've got rotate text up and rotate text down. Okay, so there's all different ways that the text shows up on that cell based on what we've selected there. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is the shortcut keys. Now, if you press Alt H, and we go back up to the ribbon, we can see some numbers and letters that have appeared 
near those buttons. So for example, we've got AL, which is near the button aligned left, AC for center and AR for align right. And then we've got five and we've got six for decrease and increase indent. And then you've got some letter combinations up the top here for the other buttons. So what you do is you press Alt H first and then you press the letter combination for what you actually want to do. So for example, let's click on cell E3, which is currently left aligned, and then we'll press Alt H. And if we want to center it, we'll press AC. Okay, so I pressed A and C at the same time on the keyboard and that center aligned that text. So let's just do one more example. So let's just say we go down to this one that's bottom aligned and I press Alt H. Now, if I press a T that's top aligned it. Okay. So to use the shortcut keys, all you have to do is press Alt H first, and then just press the numbers and letters that it tells you to press for each of the buttons up there in the ribbon. Okay. So that's a couple of different ways that you can align your text in Excel.